Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the DPC watchdog violation blue screen error you are coming across on your Windows computer. So this is definitely a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial we are going to go about hopefully resolving it without too much of a hassle. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. So just go ahead and left on the start button one time. Type in device manager. Best match to come back with device manager here. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand the IDE and then ATA slash ATAPI controllers. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now you want to select whatever the standard controller is in here and you want to right click on it. Select update driver. Select browse my computer for driver software. Locate and install driver software manually. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Should only be one in this list here. And then select next. Give it a moment. So close out of here. You will have to restart your computer so you can just minimize or close out of this. Close out of any open programs and applications and then hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So another thing you can try to if you've restarted your computer and you're still having an issue would be to go ahead and open up the star menu. Type in control panel. Best match to go back with control panel right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to either large or small icons and then select power options from this list. Select choose what the power button does. And then underneath shutdown settings, if there's an option for fast startup, you want to uncheck it. So if it says turn on fast startup recommended, you want to uncheck it here and then select save changes. My hardware does not support that, but if there was an option underneath shutdown settings, you want to uncheck it and then select save changes. So once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and close out of here. And now you want to go open up the start menu. Just off on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now in this LV command line window, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard once you have it as it appears on my screen. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, now you want to go ahead and run the check this command. So chk dsk space forward slash f, another space forward slash r, exactly as it appears on my screen here. Hit enter on your keyboard. You will need to close out any open programs and applications after we tap the Y key on our keyboard because we're going to be restarting our computer. So tap the Y key, hit enter. Should say this volume will be checked the next time your system restarts. So you can go ahead and close out of here. We'll also just restart your computer once you've closed out of any open programs and applications. Let the utility run and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.